Well, you might have been wondering who I was apologizing to in the title of the last video. She's just a, an imaginary granny pig, but she actually is an important character in my next book. So without further ado, I will continue. And I guess I'm sorry to you, I'm not using granny pig. She was a great accent, but she's a lot of work when I'm trying to read a whole book and I'm trying to do it quickly. So chapter two, meet Heather. As the early morning sun continues rising, Heather is drinking orange juice in the kitchen. As she expected, and in a very ordinary sort of way, Daddy walks into the kitchen carrying his axe he typically uses for kindling or other farm chores. Heather is enjoying her weekend to the fullest, so she's still in her pajamas as Daddy walks in, dressed for work and carrying an axe. Leisure isn't going to stop her need for an inquisition. Just as he begins to exit the kitchen, she calls out, Daddy! Where are you going with your axe? Daddy knows Heather is going to be pleased, and in his bouncy, joyful tone, he reflects that. To get more yummy meat for your lunches, my dear. Heather's eyes lit up like Christmas morning. Oh, Daddy, I love pork. Will you kill a little piggy for me? Closing the door for a moment, he continues. That's the plan. Want to see what I chose? It will be tender and delicious. A new baby. Heather runs over and flings her lanky preteen arms around his sturdy barrel chest. He is going to let her come along this time to work even on this lovely weekend because farmers always seem to be working like their busy wives. Daddy, you are so cool. The best. Thank you. In the barn, Willie is sleeping on his side in an active dream state while everyone else in the litter is busy getting their piggy breakfast with Mommy Pig. His legs are kicking as though to carry him far away, but flail uselessly in the air. Stupid! 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 The farmer wakes him gently with tickles, unable to avoid seeing this pink little thing as a baby. Softening with a paternal sing-song croon, he looks him over. Who's a cute little piggy? Yummy, yummy! Willie giggles and wakes. Mom, somebody is cooler than you. Heather was not impressed with her future sandwiches, which seemed to be all that she saw. Ew, Daddy, he's too runty. Could I grow him and make a little money if he got fat, can I? You said I should earn my bike this summer. I'll spoil him into a juicy little butterball. Let me keep him in my room at first, please. Daddy never liked calling cute. Daddy never liked calling cute things anyway. Maybe Heather was the perfect one to defeat this, to defeat his unpleasant task. Anything my little princess wants, within reason. So let's talk to your mom. Heather looks down nervously. As though he and she were different people entirely, she agreed meekly. Yes, Paul. Daddy was having none of that. Don't take that tone with me, young lady. You've already been to that audition. Heather snapped back to her old demeanor like a flicking a switch. I should have been Laura. Lonely Log Cabin will be splinters without me. Daddy laughed and gazed down affectionately. You could even... <clears throat> You couldn't even pretend to be meek for five minutes, but you make a great pig farmer's daughter. Heather suddenly has her eureka moment. I know. I should go to the audition for Charlotte's Web. I'd be the perfect fern. Daddy sighs, defeated. Heather wasn't done getting ideas. I think I have a name for the runt. Daddy made a face. Isn't it a little gross to name your food? Heather never reacted much to signals like that, and today was no different. Nah. Nah, I'm planning to sell him, not eat him. Daddy knew it would go better if he just played along. Just tell me and get it over with. Heather's grin somehow spread even wider for her dubious audience, and her eyes seemed bigger than even possible. Willie, as in, Willie, get a bike for me? Daddy was relieved he could put the axe away without cleaning it today. Just as long as you don't forget that pigs are food, not people. Heather was never one to let Daddy just have the last word. <laughs> and she remembered another use for pigs. Or pets, she added. Daddy couldn't be prouder. She always thought for herself. Pets or meat. 
Good girl. Daddy Farmer wouldn't get any farther without her help, though. Speaking of getting into character like a good little actress, could you pretend to be just a tiny bit meek for two short minutes while I talk to Mommy? Heather never missed a chance to roast her dear old man. You don't usually call her Mommy. Heather opens her mouth to say more, but Daddy warns her with a stern look. What I call Mommy is between her and I. Heather thinks for a minute. Daddy, can you make inside walls thicker? No, but you can make the TV louder. But today we will both talk to Mommy, and you will be quiet if you want that pig. <laughs>